Talk about an open door policy. They just ripped the door right off the hinges. The Obama administration acting without Congress quietly made it easier for people who have, quote, limited ties to terror to be granted asylum in this country. Michael Cutler is a retired special agent uh, for the INS. Mr. Cutler, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Glad you're and covering this, the this topic. This is one of those stories that's hard to believe it's even real. They've loosened the restrictions on right. people who have limited terror ties? Well, and you know, I, 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 we were just having this discussion off camera. I believe in helping people that are at risk, but we're not vetting these people properly. And now we've lowered the bar among a population that the 9-11 Commission warned us might well contain terrorists among them. Realize that when someone comes from a country involved with terrorism, it's almost impossible to adequately vet them quickly. And we've had case after case. The guy that shot up the CIA uh, in 1993, Cansey, applied right. for political asylum, right. then kills two CIA officers, wounds three others. Ramzi Youssef, World Trade Center bombing, 1993. Granted political asylum, plants a bomb in the garage of the World Trade Center, kills six inches over a thousand. Uh, you just had the Tsarnaev brothers who claim political asylum from Russia. As soon as they got political asylum, which means I have a credible fear that I can't go home, yeah. they go home. And nobody bothers to look. Uh, the House Judiciary Committee just held a hearing on December 12th about how members of the drug cartels from Mexico are getting political asylum in the United States. I want America to be compassionate, but they need to remember, our government needs to remember, especially this administration needs to remember, we have immigration laws for two primary purposes, protect innocent lives and the jobs of Americans. And if you're not going to deal with the national security implications, then you're undermining national security, you're putting Americans at risk, and they don't seem to get it. They are violating What's all of the, the recommendations. crazy. Listen, they're, rec they're violating all the recommendations and findings of the 9-11 Commission. But, but the, the U.S. government really has only one job, and that's to look after the welfare of American citizens. You would think. That's it. You would so think. So why is letting in refugees or people who claim they are, I mean, the refugees, you know, half the world is a, has refugee status. In the, why do I have a moral obligation to do that as an American? I'm totally confused by this. Well, I, I could make a case for helping people who are truly at risk if you can vet them and, and other countries need to chip in and help. Uh, you know, my grandmother died in the Holocaust. And I think that if more was done back then, there might have been a different outcome. So I happen to be sympathetic to the idea of reasonable well, we political... Well, we beat the Nazis. That's pretty good, no? Well, that's very good. Yeah. But, but, but 6 million uh, Jews and 13 million people died along the way. So my point is I understand the need to be compassionate, the desire. But we must never allow compassion to compromise national security. And we are. And we're doing it consistently. And the 9-11 Commission even warned us that political asylum was one of the methods of choice by terrorists seeking to enter the United States right. and embed themselves. So you would think they would say, let's tighten up. Well, Instead, the, the, now they're lowering the bar well, and making it a take walk. By the way, these people, many of them will become voters. And trust me, they're part of the Obama coalition in the end. I mean, there will be Democratic voters. The numbers show that. So that's got to play but a role. But you've also got the Republicans that want comprehensive reform. Because I, well, it's, 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 it's both it's, sides. It's, We're getting slammed by agree, both sides. I agree with you. I agree with you. There's no defending that. Thank you, Mr. Cutler. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for covering ah! it. Have, have a great weekend. You wound me up. Holy Good. Stars.